Yeah, a lot of people looking forward to what Super Kuma kind of moves he's going to make when Tekken 8 comes out, what kind of characters he's going to play. It's super interesting, you know, because, you know, if Akuma isn't in the next Tekken game, then, like, what character is he going to yeah, pick? Let's, let's well, who does he want to play? Will he still be in yeah. the next Tekken game? Yeah. Will he still win? Like, the, the question is on everyone's mind. Like, he's a, he's a winner now. Like, you know, he's absolutely dominating everyone. But, you, you know, you can't question his, you know, his knowledge and with yeah. punishment. In certain situations, you, you know, a lot of people will say, like, you know, he's just using a Kuma, blah, blah, blah. But, no. but when, when you watch him play, like, just watch very closely, he is, he's putting you in really awkward situations. He's backdashing and then with punishing you super hard for your mistakes. His, you know, his yeah. knowledge and, you know, you can't get away with doing strings and stuff. He's got good option selects for certain moves. Um, he does know a lot about the game. He is even, a character specialist. Even you know? if his Armor King or Z or whatever side character he has isn't as good as his Akuma, that's that's obvious because he puts in the most time with the, He's not practicing yeah. these other characters' turn. So imagine if he did apply all of all of his time in, into learning these side characters in the next game. Or exactly. all the experience, more importantly. Like him being on these stages, going to these tournaments, um, the experience that you get from that will carry mm. over no matter what character you're playing. Right. So he has this edge at tournaments over you, Akuma or not. And that's why I said it's going to be interesting to see what what kind of uh, route he takes, how it plays out. And um, if there, 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 there's a chance that we might even have characters with similar mechanics, maybe even the same mechanics, that'll help him out a little bit and he'll be able to laugh in everyone's face if that Oh face. my god, I can't wait till yeah. that day, Anakin. You know, when, he, when Tekken 8 comes out, the first big tournament, you know, Tekken 8 or whatever, the next installment of Tekken um, comes out, and then, you know, Akuma wins the first offline major. Oh, What's everyone going to say there? You know, with like someone like, you know, Kazuya or someone. <laughs> <laughs> Kuma, Kazuya's got the demon flips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly, man. <laughs> All right, nice there. You know, Super Kuma dominating as usual. Nice little punish there. Goes for a big 50-50 yeah, there. a little punish, but he's a good spot for Marduk. My God, cancelled that. You know, I feel like he just built that meter up. Because like, it's still round one. He uses it to stay safe. I respect it. Oh my god. Yeah. Good stuff, Super Akuma. Lucky using the Marduk this time. Yeah, I don't. He, he plays somebody else, right? Like, yeah, he plays Noctis. Noctis. Yeah, Noctis' main character, but maybe, you know, he feels like he's more comfortable with Marduk today. Yeah, it could be like a versus Akuma type of thing. Yeah. Um, I know that. Probably a lot of people think that Marduk's going to have these advantages. He might know something we don't, right? Yeah, and when you're playing against Super Kuma, you want to look for any kind of advantage you can get, right? He's got <laughs> yeah. so many Everyone's reviews. looking for something, you know? He's like, give me something against Akuma, bro. Okay. Nice. Yeah, down four there, you know, taking big risk. Not afraid of it. The jabs as well, you know, looking for that. Both of these rounds, mo uh, that's what I said, mo Ducky has been in striking position to win the round, but has not been able to close Super Kuma out yet in the opening rounds. Yeah, and Super Kuma here, you know, you'd think, you know, on the endless stage he has some sort of disadvantage here, but it just doesn't look like that. He's making it work. He's played on Infinite a million times, so, you know, everyone tries to, you know, counterpick him with the stage and just backdash the whole time, but it's not working here. Solid. He's attacking him twice, but he's broken the, uh, the option. Well. Yeah. Not enough lows from Ducky, I think. Yeah. Maybe he's scared of getting jumped over. Yeah, and there's something to think about, though, right? As in, one low is... <laughs> Do it wrong, you know, Super Kuma yeah. jumps 50%. No need to be, 50%. No need to be afraid of getting jumped over, though, if you're playing someone like Marduk, because if he does, you just do a jab. Yeah. And exactly. it's probably going to be consistent. <laughs> and he's he tried it. He tried yeah, that's the one thing I lose. <laughs> he like, he tried it there. <laughs> Look at that, just absolute dominance by, by Super Kuma. Yeah, you know, the, the advice from anything there was to, you know, to no jab good. it out. What happened to, yeah. And what happens, he, he just got, he got hit. But that's, I think, one of the options that you can't really, you know, press anything in that situation because it's so quick uh, that, you know, Super Kuma knew, like, he's going to try and anti me here, and it just didn't work out. So, you know, good stuff there. They're both, you know, having, having fun there. And, uh, you know, you're allowed to have at least one coach. I know oh, the Tekken yeah? Tekken World oh, Tour okay, rules. Okay, yeah, okay. one coach, and and that's K Wiz there giving him some advice. Cool. K Wiz want to see his friend yeah. join him in the top 16. Yeah, exactly. Maybe he's even Hello, gonna UK invest friends. it in his match because he plays winner or something like that. He's oh, like, you know those ones, yeah. <laughs> those guys have been going at it on ICFC. I haven't been on Wednesdays with you guys, but I've been oh. seeing the results. Like it's pretty much been K Wiz and Super Kuma, right? Both dominating, yeah. I think yeah. K West won like two ICFCs in the world. Right right yeah, yeah, he's, he's kind of uh, streaking. Yeah. I think well. this is both online and offline as well. You know, playing well here, not losing yet, and yeah. and you know, doing very well online as well. It's, it's good stuff. I think he's got the confidence to play up in a tournament. You know what I mean? Some mm. guys they may not be confident, they may not be experienced, and they're not playing as good as they can. But I think K West is potential. He's capable of raising his, his, mm. his you know, 
his limits when it comes time. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Got opts for the for the Noctis here. Uh, and this is maybe what he should have gone for at the beginning, right? Yeah. Round one. Fight. That Mardik was just doomed to fail from the start, man. Yeah. Nice there, really good down forward too uh, by Ducky, you know, taking a bit of life here. Oh, oh my god, from, from Hart. Yeah, exactly. Super Kuma here. Drops the comfort though. He's been dropping some Enders, but yeah. most of the damage got dealt, so that's okay. I thought that was a setup or something. You know, he dropped it and went instantly for the 1-1 one, one, because he you know, knew that Ducky wanted to do something there. Both players taking their time because they know that even with the big lead from Makuma, he can lose it in one step. And I think he just tried the uh, Ducky Special. The, the two Ducky two Special to into down downward two. two. I remember yeah. that from commentating. Yeah, oh, Ducky Special matches. there. Doesn't work out though, you know, Super Not as Kuma. good off one. <laughs> yeah, Super Kuma just, you know, just waiting there, being patient. The right thing to do. There. Yeah. And, and, and in offline terms, guys are most likely, more likely to play patient, knowing that you know, they can react to more things. They don't feel rushed to make a guessing decision as far as like walking with mid or low. Yeah, Super Kuma is so dominant right now. Yeah, big combo there. Gonna build up that second bar looking to. Nice. Power Crush uses that a lot, you know, Super Kuma. Catch him in the air. He's gonna go for Rage Drive here. Rage R. Good. Yeah, very good option there. He did two extra jabs just to just make in case, sure. just in case, you know. Just sure. now, sometimes you regret, you know. You don't do that extra jab, and it's like he's got one pixel left, <laughs> and it's like Jesus. Yeah, especially man, you know? with the new five, five points. We played Tekken Seven for like three, four years without the extra five points, and then it comes in everywhere and just ruins our combos. Yeah, exactly. Nothing kills anymore. I love what Ducky's doing now, you know, using that 2-2, two -two, knows that Super Kuma doesn't really want to challenge afterwards, you know, scheduled down for 2 after Ducky special. If everything changes when Akuma gets the meter, though, he'll be able to challenge in more situations that he wasn't able to before. Nice block on reaction. Yeah. Down back 2, a little bit more seeable. Oh, yeah. Big wrist there, you know, just, just takes it. Super Kuma was so confident, and the mini pop-off there. You know, Super Kuma looking very confident here. I've been seeing a lot of down fours from Super Kuma. You know, he's never, he never really used to use them that much, but I like the frequency because they've been buffing that move. Yeah. That kind of means they want you to use it a lot. Oh no, here we go. Two bars of meter as well. You know, Super Kuma has a launcher here. It's going to be very difficult. You know, I can sense a down three coming. The hell? I thought that was in the back. Oh, oh my god, look at, oh my god, what the hell? Rage well, driving coming. this round though. Yep, oh, he gosh. Could. Wow. He could. A little small from Super Kuma. He knows that, you know, that's what he exactly. goes for. He's even talking to Ducky right now, probably saying, like, yeah, you know. Yeah. Trying to get him to let his guard down. But Super Kuma only halfway towards a meter, so there's going to be yeah. about 10 seconds or so where Ducky can go in here and not have to worry about a lot of things. Yeah, he used two bars of meter last uh, time, you know, and as I say that, you know, gains it here, and that probably will lift his one pixel remaining here. And taps him with a down three. Congratulations to Super Akuma. Yeah. Advances there. All smiles. I mean, doing while standing one two into the focus attack yeah. was what sealed the deal for him. It was looking pretty good.